Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are opening up our Emerald City Comic Con order. Uh, I'm pretty hyped because uh, a good friend of ours, Money's Funko Pops, I'll make sure I link him down below. Uh, he was able to win the Funko Lottery and he took care of us, man. He really got us everything. If he didn't want it, he grabbed it for us and it was pretty it was pretty cool. Uh, him and another friend of his took care of everything. And We all know how much of a shit show Emerald City Comic Con was this year. Uh, I was planning on going at one point because Money was going to cancel his trip and I was like, well, I'll just buy your ticket and I'll go. And then it got canceled altogether. So it was a whole mess and a half. Um, but luckily we were still able to get everything that we wanted. Um, I think that there was like an exception of maybe one pop that didn't come. I don't know. I'm gonna have to open this up and check it out. So he sent me two boxes. These two right here, pretty hefty ones, um, but honestly, we, we got a lot. Uh, I think Emerald City Comic Con was pretty solid in terms of um, in terms of exclusives. I don't, I can't recall another Comic Con where I've wanted so much stuff. As you guys seen in my previous video that I'll throw right up on the screen, uh, I, I was whatever on WonderCon and all this uh, and all this business but yeah and then on top of that you know things got kind of delayed because of the whole pandemic thing um but uh here we go let's see yo my bad for being a little bitch and not wanting to go to the post office consider this a supply job with everything that i've had to send you for the last two months or so we've got some emerald city stuff some fya exclusives and something for sarah too much love money's funko pops uh i love it man and honestly i'm not even mad bro like I knew that it was there, so it's all good. I'm just excited, and I appreciate you even doing this in the first place. Always packed super well. What a good guy, man. Um, but yeah, he did have some uh, some FYE stuff for me too, so I guess we'll open that up also. Uh, this is, hell yeah, the uh, Toy Story uh, Alien with the t-shirt bundle. This one is a glow-in-the-dark um, pop. Let's crack this baby open real quick. The claw t-shirt. The alien glow in the dark. It's an FYE exclusive. Um, you can only get it in this t-shirt bundle. Uh, I don't, I rarely wear Funko shirts, so I got this in a size small uh, so the wife could rock it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love this thing. It was the last pop I needed to complete my Toy Story 4 collection. I got that hanging up in uh over here in the living room. Yeah, let's get uh let's get into all this goodness in here. Oh, there's okay. He wrapped this up really well, so thank you, Money. I appreciate it. So let's see what this is. Oh, man. So excited about this one. So uh, anybody that doesn't know, I spent a good little chunk of my childhood living in Seattle. And while I was living there, it was all about the Supersonics, man. Love Sean Kemp. This one was another uh, exclusive. And it looks like we got, I mean, all con stickers instead of just those shared stickers that uh, some people were pulling even on the Funko Shop site, so this is pretty sweet. Sean Kemp, gotta pick up that Gary Payton too. All right, this is, I don't know. It says Dexter's Laboratory, but I definitely don't think he uh, sent me a Dexter's Laboratory. Am I the only one that just didn't care for Dexter's Laboratory? I wasn't a huge Cartoon Network guy growing up. Um, so I didn't care about the Johnny Bravo with the Dexter's Laboratory and people are freaking out about him, which more power to you, totally get it. All love, all, all uh, to each their own, but I was good on all that. This one I was really excited about. Man, they really jacked up putting this sticker on here. This is the uh, Mill House. This one was exclusive to Box Lunch, I believe. But yeah, we got the con sticker on this one. I love it, man. This thing is pretty badass. He said that this one got kind of banged up, but honestly, it looks pretty good. Yeah, solid, man. Solid, 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 love it. So. This one, okay, so this one for me was like a sleeper. Like this, I, I felt like nobody was giving this pop the respect that it deserved. Um, but I'm also just a big fan of this movie. So I'm probably going to be a little biased as to how cool this is. I'm sure a lot of people, A, don't give a shit, and B, have no idea what it is. But this is from Starship Troopers. And this is the Tanker Bug. This thing is so sick. I love the mold on this spewing out all the business there mm, love it this one we might have, you know I'm, I'm taking this baby out of box we're gonna check this out oh yeah man this thing's rad it's 
It's got even like the little bullet hole on the back. I picked up Johnny Rico. I think that was last year at um, Emerald City Comic Con. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But yeah, the Johnny Rico I was so hyped on and couldn't wait for more of these. But <laughs> this thing's sick. This thing's sick. I mean, it got no it got no respect uh, from <laughs> I feel like anybody. But you know. It's. I think it's an acquired taste. Definitely not everyone's favorite pop and everyone's favorite movie. So pretty badass. Let's get this thing packed up and we'll jump into the second package. Alright guys, before we get into the second part of this video, I just want to let you know that we are going to be opening up this case of 3-inch janky blind boxes this Friday on Rock and Rose YouTube channel live at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. on the East. So make sure you guys come hang out with us, enjoy the good hangs, uh, get in on some giveaways, have a good time with me and Rock and Roll doing round two of our janky blind box opening. I'll throw up the uh, flyer right here for it and I hope to see you guys there because it's going to be a really good time. That first video was a blast and I'll also link it down below so you guys can watch that first live stream because man it was a really really good time pulled some insane stuff and i hope to have some pretty similar results so let's get on with the video box number two this one should be lots of fun my cool little slicey slice another shout out to money swanko pops man uh i know he was kind of giving himself a hard time for not wanting to go to the post office but i honestly don't blame him i wouldn't want to go to the post office either Oh, the beauty. The beauty. So this has three things in it. Okay, so these ones are not Emerald City Comic Con um, exclusives. This is the last that I need of the Sailor Moon set. I'm very excited about this. This is the Sailor Chibi Moon. The exclu or this one's the common. Uh, I have the exclusive also, but this is the last one I need. So now my Sailor Moon collection is complete. The wife is really excited about that one, I'm sure. And then this one is another little horror babe for all my horror heads out there. I've been buying so many horror pops lately, so I'm pretty pretty excited about this one. I guess you could say. I feel like I say the word excited a lot. If you feel like I say the word excited a lot, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up on this video. <laughs> so this one is the creeper from a jeepers creepers this movie is so good let's uh check this one out here get get some uh get some real one-on-one -on -one time with this baby oh man love it holding that little axe joint right there love this mold the back of the head with the hair the whole vibe i don't know i love this pop love these movies in fact, now that I'm looking at these, I might actually watch these tonight. I'm really excited uh, to have this FYE exclusive. So thank you so much again, Money. We got one more pop to open, guys, and it is the creme de la creme. It is the one that I feel like everyone's been waiting for, and it was the one that everybody... I feel like at first there was a lot of shit talking that happened, and that kind of frustrated me because from day one, from the jump, I've wanted this thing. And... Uh, People have been going back and forth, you know, saying like, oh yeah, it's cool and oh, it's lame and all this bullshit. Let's keep it real, guys. I love the Funko Myths line. Every single one of them have been cool. Everything from the Sphinx to Bigfoot to Chupacabra to everything. I, the Minotaur, I think they're all badass. One of my favorite lines. And they finally got the respect they deserve with this 1500 piece Loch Ness Monster. This is a glow in the dark beauty and I'll shoot a picture of the glow right here so you guys can check it out too. I'm so excited about this pop. I mean, at first I feel like it was hitting for a lot of money and then it kind of died down for a bit, but now people are kind of, I think, getting it. Like understanding that this line is pretty sweet. I love the myths. I love the Loch Ness Monster. I can't wait for a Medusa. That's another pop that has been crazy, crazy, like skyrocketing since this whole pandemic thing went down. People have been buying it up like wildfire. Which is crazy to me because back when things were still open, I remember seeing it sitting at the Funko store in Hollywood. So pretty different. I mean, I'm excited to have it. I'm excited about everything they sent me. So we got Sean Kemp, the Alien, Millhouse, Tankerbug. Uh, got this Beauty, the Loch Ness Monster, the Creeper. And of course, finished off my Sailor Moon collection with this Sailor Chibi Moon. Super excited. I mean... This is the haul of a century, man. Thank you so much to Money's Funko Pops. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. That dude is putting out insane content. He's so funny. His stuff is so clever. And he's like, probably, I would say, one of my favorite uh, Funko YouTubers. And that's not just because he's in the Funko Collection Society. It's because legitimately, 
He is so good at what he does. So lots of love to that dude. Um, before we get out of here, guys, make sure you check out fcsmerch.com. You can check out my pins that are on there. We have the new Funko Collector Society pins that are on there too. Uh, make sure that you follow me on Instagram at Left Coast Collects. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Left Coast Collects. Follow my wife at twitch.tv slash Goth Posh. And make sure you follow the best toy content creators in the world at the Funko Collector Society. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm going to be on a live with Rock and Row. And later on this weekend, I'm going to be doing a brand new podcast with Dr. All Might and uh, my good friend, Pro Plastic Mix me broke really excited to do that talk about the the evolution of where toys are at and talk about uh, a little bit of drama that's been going on in the community but i'm excited for it guys and i hope that you are too i hope you tune in and i hope to hang out with everybody soon and we'll see you at the next one peace